We're on the Del Mar Dry Lake Bed outside of Alamo, Nevada. In the middle of the Nevada desert, you can almost feel the anticipation. Our goal is to replace the Soyuz capsule that's currently flying uh, American crews to space. We need to have an American capsule, an American company take our crews up back and forth to orbit. Engineers are putting final touches on their 6,000 kilo baby. We're getting ready to conduct the first parachute drop test of the Boeing CST-100 space capsule for the Boeing Commercial Crew Transportation System. The test will see the CST-100 dropped from a height of more than two kilometers, and all eyes will be on the landing. This is the first end-to-end -end test of the parachute system, of course. You know, there's only so much you can do uh, with computer modeling. There's only so much you can do in a wind tunnel. This is the first chance to really take a good look at the parachute, make sure it inflates the way we want it to. Tomorrow's test will show how much work they have left to do, and one major factor looms large, the weather. We need a, 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 like a nice sunny day with good visibility. We need visibility up to 7,000 feet, and we also want winds preferably under 10 miles an hour, but we can go as high as 15 miles an hour. If it's too windy, it's too dangerous. Right now, I wouldn't want to do the drop in these conditions, but we could do it if we had to. The parameters, the limiting parameters right now on the wind are the capsule itself, is that it cannot land safely in these conditions. As long as the sustained winds are below the 15 knot limit, we're gonna go do it. If they're higher than that, then there's the risk that if we don't do it, that tomorrow and the day after aren't gonna be any better. If it is worth the risk, the success of the test rests in the hands of one person. It's my job to make sure that it runs off smoothly, and uh, the drop goes successfully. That's the most important thing for the people that have invested so much time and money into it. As always, um, it, it is a team effort. As you can see, it's a large helicopter. There's a lot of people working on it, and we all in it together. Gary Arthur's job is to lift the 6,300 kilogram space capsule more than 2,300 meters while piloting the air crane and drop it onto a target the size of a car. Is he excited? I wouldn't say excited, it's more like scared because I've got so many people depending on me. We're all very excited, the whole team is. This, is uh, this has been in work for over a year, this test. I started 25 years ago uh, working with ex-Apollo designers on some of the early versions of uh, commercial capsules and such, and it's finally come to fruition. Um, I know myself and all the guys that are working with me are super excited about this. And, um, we're, we're hoping for a big success tomorrow. Yeah. It's ready to rock. The capsule shouldn't swing at all. When you lift, lift it off the ground, it's very heavy. It's, it's about 14,000 pounds, and it should be hanging really stable. Once we're flying and the helicopter's got some forward speed, it shouldn't be swinging at all. That's my job to make sure it doesn't swing. John McKinney knows exactly what he wants to see happen. You're going to see the helicopter drop this from about 7,000 feet and it's going to free fall for a few seconds. Uh, at that point, three little tiny parachutes are going to deploy and so at about 8 to 10 seconds after the release from the helicopter, we should see these main parachutes start to inflate. And it'll take about 10, 15 seconds for them to go to the full inflation. And then you'll see three beautiful 94 foot diameter red and white parachutes. Uh, at about 30 seconds, we have what we call a bucket handle. Uh, that's gonna release, that's what allows the spacecraft to go to the flat hang angle. So then you'll see uh, these packed airbags will start to inflate and a good 30 seconds to a minute before landing, we'll have those fully inflated. And then at, at impact, uh, you'll probably see a little puff of dust. It landed pretty close to the target. I was happy with the results. And everything went smoothly. Everyone's still here, nobody got hurt. And the capsule is still one piece. Ah, oh, that was fantastic. That's the first time I ever saw a capsule come down under a parachute. So from my perspective, it was absolutely amazing. Our test went very well today. We successfully dropped the uh, capsule uh, boilerplate from the CST-100 from uh, 7,000 feet above the ground. Uh, successfully deployed three pilot chutes to pull out the three mains. I'd been nice if the airbags would have dented. 
Uh, from all appearances, the fact that there's no damage, the crew would have uh, had a nice soft landing with no risk of injury. There's still some work to be done before this capsule's ready to take people to space and back, but the dream of commercial space travel is one step closer to reality.